Harris County 911, what's the location of your emergency? When you call 911, you assume someone will be there to answer the call during your hour of need. Stopping is going to be a, a big problem. Hundreds of dispatch center leaders from across the nation are meeting in San Diego for the annual conference of the National Emergency Number Association, or NINA, and the pandemic is on the forefront. There's never been anything like this in our lifetime. That's April Heinze, the 911 operations director with NINA. She says during this pandemic, being there is becoming more and more difficult for our first first responders. Overwhelmingly, the average 911 center staffing wise is down about 30 percent, all the way to um, very large uh, 911 centers in um, urban areas that were more than 50 percent um, staffing crisis. She says because of this new normal, Virtual technology is on the cusp of becoming mainstream to help more dispatchers work from home. But it's not as simple as it sounds. Because there are certain things in the 911 center that you really can't recreate in a virtual environment. You really have to have great cybersecurity, um, good broadband connectivity um, for those virtual environments to work. Lori Brown, a dispatch supervisor from the Indio Police Department, says it's critical they attend these conferences that keep them on the forefront of new technology. We are no longer in the days where your 911 call just connected to a telephone central station and then delivered via a phone line to the dispatcher. Brown says everything from apps to cars can now communicate with 911. Her department provides safety and emergency operations for one of the most famous music events in the world, the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival. They're already planning more efficient ways for over 250,000 music fans to access their 911 system in the future. We'll be able to draw a geographical boundary around the concerts and say all 911 calls that happen within this geographical area Area we want to ring to our command post at the concert as opposed to going back to the center. Heinze says while this pandemic has been challenging, it's also been a time of incredible learning and innovation for the industry that will benefit many generations to come. We will be so much better prepared if for some reason something like this happens again. Kitty Alvarado, KPBS News.